Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, Jay is going to be guessing his favourite books, or at least the books that he's given four or five stars to on Goodreads, from one star reviews that I've collected together. So for each book, and there's five books total, I have got three one star reviews that are talking about the book. Every book is a book that Jay's rated either five or four stars. I did go down to four stars because there just wasn't the biggest variety of like reviews to pick from and everything as well so I would just four and five stars I feel like they're still good books for you right? Yeah that makes sense. If he guesses it after one review he gets three points, if he guesses it after two reviews he gets two points and if he guesses it after three reviews he gets one point and if he doesn't get it he gets no points. That's the entire premise of this video so yeah. I'm going to try and put the reviews on the screen as I'm talking through them. So we're going to just get into it I think. Sounds good. So book number one. The book's on screen. Review one for book one. Boring AF. The blurb is much more interesting than the actual book. See I'm wondering if I could remember the blurb of several people are typing. Right. I would and I just I remember the way that you told oh. I don't know. You don't know? Should I give oh, you well, a second? I'm, 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 I can take a guess though, can't I? Yeah. A guess is several people are typing. You are incorrect. Okay. Okay. Review number two for book number one. Oh. What? I've just seen the word novella. The majority of reviews describe the novella as bizarre. I enjoy confusing narratives, so that descriptor was my main incentive to pick it up. Unfortunately, rather than strange and outlandish, the book turned out to be simple and familiar in the most hackneyed, ha hackoid, hackneyoid way. Nothing about it was surprising, except for how utterly unsurprising it was. The author doesn't even try to fool the reader into believing her utopia or to infuse her world and characters with ambiguity. The winking and nudging begins from page one and after some pages of winking and nudging we are served a hefty portion of spelling it all out for us. Honestly the author seems to have a pretty low opinion of her audience. Absolutely nothing is left up to the reader to interpret. Okay so on pretty confident that it's going to be um, comfort with apples. Okay. And this person's just so full of themselves. Like, oh, well done, you, you, you got the twist. Like, you don't have to like complain about it. Like, I enjoyed it. You it's, are correct. It, yeah, okay. And I, I enjoyed think, it too. I think it's the only novella I've read. This... No, you've also read Murderbot and you've also oh. read... Oh no, you're still reading Every Heart Adore. Okay, yeah. But yeah. So just for a bit of juxtaposition, because obviously from this review we can see that everything in the book is obvious and you should guess it all straight away. Yeah. The third review you were going to get for this book. Are you happy? No. No I'm not. The writing was great but I didn't enjoy the plot at all. I had no idea what the fuck was going on until the last 25 pages. Most of the time I don't mind this when there's a mind bone ending but this just wasn't it for me. See I agree that I had no idea what was going on until the very end but like it all clicks into place and no, it makes no, sense. No, like, no, like, I, I liked that. I know you like that. Right. Sassy J is probably going to come out in this video because oh, the books he's enjoying. Oh, you can let Sassy J out. You don't have to word it like that. Right. When you get like this, what do we call you? I'm not being Sassy J. But yeah, so you got it right, so you got two points. Oh, bro, thank you. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, book two. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you want to read them out loud? Oh, sure. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, back it over here. Good book, I guess, but it put me to sleep. So I guess if you want a book for your insomnia, this is a great book. That doesn't mean anything. Okay, so this person thought it was boring. Okay. Okay, so did you have any guesses? See, if it was like good book, I guess, it made me sleep really good. I think it was um, Why We Sleep. It's not why we sleep, but that is why I included this. Right, oh, you're trying to include a red hair? Well, you fucked up, you well, didn't did it. I thought why we sleep wasn't good and it did put me to sleep, Fair so. Enough. But no, it's not that book. Do you want to go on to the second review? Is that counting as my guess? You can have as many guesses as you want, but like if you don't know it, yeah, I, well, I, don't, I don't know it. Okay, second review. This should have been my type of book. I wanted to love it, 
but I was bored. His stories slash examples weren't interesting. And and then he went on too long, drawn out boredom. The first chapter goes on too long about the calendar and months. He misses a great opportunity to explain the names of July, August, and October. And then in chapter five, he starts in about the days of the week. Er. Uh. <laughs> You've got a smile on your yeah, face. Yeah, <laughs> I think I might have figured out what it is. Is it by Matt Parker? I haven't, um, uh, okay. I don't know who the authors are of the law. Let me try and remember the name of the, I've, I've read two books by him. I'm not actually sure if I've, re... I'm not actually sure if I have finished or review, put it on Goodreads, the second one. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Humble Pie. It is Humble Pie, correct? Yeah. You got it on the second guess again. Uh, I thought it was really good. I know. <laughs> yeah, these are your favourite books, I know. <laughs> Do you want to read the third sure. review just for... Yeah. Well, I just never got I to this book. That's obvious mess ah, that right, yeah, into. into. I just never got into this book at all. I feel bad because so many people enjoyed this, but it was not at all for me. I feel like the thousands of inside jokes only are moderately funny unless you're an engineer or computer coder. Well, I mean, I am a computer coder, so maybe, <laughs> maybe that's why it appealed to me. So I'll put some of these reviews in just to see your reaction, because obviously like some of them are a bit like going at it a bit. Yeah, yeah, great, yeah. understood. Yeah. yeah, so that's two more points for me. Two more points, so you're up to four out of six at the four moment. Four out of six, that's good, isn't it? Okay, you ready for book three? I am. What the fuck did I just read? Two hours of my life I will never get back. And the fact that a book like this is published by a major publisher is an embarrassment. Nobody should be subjected to this book. Sorry, no one should be subjected to this awful book. Aside from the two to three funny lines within it, this book is a giant stinker. I'd give it zero stars if I could. Okay. Oi, stop it. I have a hypothesis. Okay. This is several people are typing and the reviewer has no sense of humour. It is several people hey. talking. Well done. Because it's not it's not meant to be taken seriously. Like the whole book is a joke. Like. Yeah. Do you want to hear the other two reviews or skip them? Uh, no. Yeah. Let's hear yeah. them. Okay. This is a weird book and not in a good way. The characters were, I think that's meant to say bland. Yeah. And it has a romantic angle for absolutely no fucking reason. That two could have been a salvageable. That too could have been salvageable. Uh, but there's no real interaction between them, and then they are just in love. TF just wasn't for me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Fairs. And then this is the final one. Oh, you might want to read it. As someone who retired before the great pandemic work from home experiment of 2020, I find it somewhat difficult to follow this novel. I also fully acknowledge my previous career did not include much in the way of immersion in technology as part of my job. So saying, this is the best I can come up with as a response to this novel, Dusty Stick. That's a that's an inside joke in, from the book. Whatever the heck that means, eye roll emoji. Read the book, maybe you'll figure it out. Good luck. <laughs> what do you make of that? I, mean, like, at least I they're... wouldn't have thought that you needed to really know how it all works to read it. No, like, I wouldn't have thought so. It seem like that sort of a book. Well, I mean, if they're like, if they are, if they're of the age where they like can't send a text. Okay. Then yeah, I think the book would be pretty like you'd have you just wouldn't like you just wouldn't get yeah, it. Yeah, that's. So maybe they maybe they are the great pandemic work from home experiment, experiment. of twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, boomer. So that was book three, and that was several people that I've been. So Brill. you got three points for that one. Brill. Book four. Do you want to do the reviews again? Yeah, go on then. Do you know that if you pay attention to things, then you'll notice more. Did you know that switching off your phone can remove distractions? Did you know that if you want to focus, you should concentrate and avoid being distracted? If you need more stunningly obviously insights, then read this book. Otherwise, do anything else instead. I'm going to guess that this is hyper focus. And to a certain extent, I do kind of agree. I just thought it was worded really well. You are correct. It yeah. is hyper focus. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, you're doing really good at this. Thank you. I'm really quite impressed. Yeah. You can read the other reviews if I you want, will. or you can skip them. This is such a poorly written book that it angers me at times. It's much like deep work, only without any charm, writing skills, useful content, or research. If you're lucky enough to read this review before buying the book, don't bother buying it. Yeah, alright, wasn't me, fair enough. 
A light book that I managed to finish spread across a few sporadic sittings during a holiday and on the plane. Even though I didn't really manage to learn much that I already know, it's good to have somebody break down the strategies that I've already been employing, but somewhat only half consciously. Some psychology and neuroscience bits can sound rather iffy, though, and mainly Google the author. He's just a normal guy, not an actual scientist, nor a psychologist. Oh, fair. I, I thought he was a psychologist or, or some sort of... I haven't fact-checked yeah, these yeah, reviews, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. Like, I mean, that, that kind of sums up like, why I liked it. It was like, yeah, it was easy to read and, yeah, just some useful tips in there. Like, yeah, cool. I okay. Like Book five, the final one. The final one. Yawn. Holy freaking crap. Was that boring? There was absolutely no action. The dialogue was bland. There was no humour. The story didn't even paint a picture for you as a reader. Although it had promise in the first 10% of the books, of the book, it fell down the crap hole face first. The ending even had me saying, that was seriously it. So glad I got this on sale, but sad because I paid money for this at all. Would not recommend. The only one I think it could be is Murderbot, but I just I can't fathom someone not liking Murderbot. I mean, you're you're correct. Yeah, well, it's, it's all systems red. It's moment. all systems red. Well, I don't know. I disagree, but fine. Okay. I can't I can't remember the ending of the first book to be honest, but I thought it was really good. Yeah, but... I, I I remember very much enjoying the book, and then after reading the first one, I was willing to like fork out a lot of money for like the box set. So yeah, do you want to keep reading the reviews? Sure. Yeah. You can read them in Sassy J Land. If oh you want. yeah, go on then. Don't buy this book. Is the is the title? I would usually never leave a review with such a stark title, but this one deserves it. What else should one do when publishing? When a publishing company takes a complete novel, hacks it into four pieces, and it was an obvious hack job. The first book doesn't end; it just gets to the end of a chapter and stops, then peddles itself like a street corner drug dealer to children for three ninety nine, then jacks up the three remaining chapters to ten dollars total, thirty four dollars. It's criminal. So I'm saying, don't feed the trolls, send a message to Amazon slash, and I'm going to guess that says Tor. Yeah, I've blanked it out, because if you hadn't guessed by now, I didn't want to be saying the publisher. But this is unacceptable. It's worse than EA Games charging folks extra to be able to play their games once already bought. In regards to the novella itself, it's an okay concept and decent writing. At least the main character, all others literally only have a handful of lines. Yeah, that's not true, is it? No. Uh, but it's not worth bending over and taking it on the freer for the privilege of reading it. There are literally thousands of as good or better blank or the sci-fi sci-fi, sci yeah, uh, out there who are not trying to fleece you with their offerings. Please read them and not this bold-faced attempt at robbery. So I didn't know if you were going to have finished every heart or doorway by the time we filmed this. Right. So I thought you would be very stuck between Every Heart of Doorway and uh, yeah. the bots, so that's why I blanked it, so I thought. Yeah, that's fair. Did not enjoy this novella at all. It was confusing all the time, lost interest every other page, but still kept going because the ratings were so high. So is this something about the first one or just the whole series or what? The first one. What do you mean the ratings are so high? But on Goodreads, like when you look at oh, the ratings, right, the, the reader the kept rating. reading the book because... The ratings on Goodreads are high, but it's a good book. I understand why people could relate to Murderbot so much, but I think the story was lacking a lot of everything. Who are these people? I don't know. Dreadful, isn't it? Yeah. And then the reveal. All systems red. Yeah. And that was it. That was it. Did we get on the points for that one? Did I, I got it the first one, 13 didn't I? out of 15. 13 out of 15. Oh, that's good. You did it? really good. I did. I'm good at yeah. this. You are? Yeah. So yeah, do you have anything you'd like to add? I mean, I think you did really well, but like... I think I did really well as well. I was expecting more sassy. No, people are allowed different opinions, even if they're wrong. Okay. If you enjoyed this, we did the same thing, but the other way around last year. Kind of the same thing. You just did one, re you did one review, didn't you, Purple? No, you definitely had points based on how many reviews it took you to get them. Oh, fairs. Like, we definitely did the three points, two points, one point thing before. Are you sure that oh, was that was for the first time? chapter challenge, wasn't it? No, the first chapter challenge is something I recorded by myself. The one where we did a blind book cover challenge. Yeah, that's where the three, two, one came from. Yeah, we'll link some videos up above and down below. We've recorded some things together in the past. We have. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
But that's it, I think. It is that. That is it. Do you have any books that you'd like to recommend at the end of this? I'm most of the way through every heart or doorway and I'm really enjoying it. What about the five books that you've guessed? Would you still recommend them? All Systems Red, yeah, 100% recommend that. Several people are typing, like, if you... It's not meant to be serious. If you are willing to read something that is not meant to be taken seriously at all, it's just a light-hearted story, then yeah, it's good. It's brilliant. Hyperfocus. I agree, that first review, I agree with it. I just don't think that is, like, reason to give a good book. I, I still thought it was a good book. Yeah. And I don't think that being the case is enough of a reason to give it one star. Humble Pie, oh yeah, I bloody love that, it was brilliant. Um, but I've been subscribed, the author of that, you, the author of the book is a YouTuber and I've been watching his videos for at least five years. So I probably wouldn't have picked it up if I hadn't have been like a long time subscriber. Yeah. But I mean, if you like maths, then yeah, it's a good book. Yeah, Kung Fu with Apples was really good. I really liked it. I mean, you stayed up all night reading it. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> it's a very short book, and it's. I thought it was very gripping. Um, you didn't enjoy it as much as I did because you already knew the twist. Oh yeah, so I've I've been spoiled for the twist, but I still gave it three point five stars, and that was with like sure. the caveat of I think I would have enjoyed this more if I hadn't been spoiled. Yeah, like I'm not sure if I, I'm pretty confident that I won't re-read Hyperfocus or Comfort Me with Apples, but I could definitely see myself re-reading. We were free. Um. I could definitely see myself rereading Murderbot. Potentially Humble Pie, but probably not really. And potentially several people are typing, but probably not really. Yes. But yeah, Murderbot, 100% I'll probably reread it at some point. Jolly good. So yeah, hope, hope you, enjoyed you enjoyed the, the video. video. Please do give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you like to see more content like this. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. Is your head fully there? Yeah, my head's fully, fully there. Okay. I feel good. Okay, we're taking a thumbnail. Oh, sorry. I thought we were going to do another one. Oh, we can do another one. Yeah, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do this. You ready to start? I am. Hello, and welcome to today's <laughs> look at this cat. That's a Star Trek joke. That is Seven of Nine. Is it? Yeah, there's a, there's a character in one of the Star Treks called Seven of Nine. What Star Trek?